Hey guys, welcome back. Now, first thing first, I know I don't record videos like this normally, news videos. However, I think today is definitely a special occasion. If you remember my last video, or two videos ago, I don't remember when I uploaded it at the time of this recording. Um, I talked about Xenoverse 2 being done with DLC, so that's why I didn't cover anything related to the game. Uh, the new DLC. However, we just got word that Kakarot is actually getting not one new DLC, but three. They're getting an entire new season pass. And to say I'm excited for that is an understatement. As you know, Kakarot... I mean, I don't know if this is a confliction of, like a conflicting opinion or not, but I think it might be the best-looking Dragon Ball game. Like, in terms of like the entire game. Like, not just the fights or anything, but the entire game. The cinematics are just insane. And to see the game getting more DLC is amazing. And not to mention we could possibly get a versus mode, finally. So we can, like you know, fight friends and stuff. That would be super cool. And, like, the, the answer the question of legend at this point, is it good that this game's getting more DLC? Yes, because the last DLC it got was a year and a half ago. I cannot believe they're actually adding more. It's insanity. Now, this is slated for 2023, which most likely means there is a chance in the air that this comes out an entire two years after the Trunks DLC, which is insanity to see that this is still getting DLC. Two years since the last one. Absolutely craziness, and I'm, I can't tell you how excited I am. I looked at the, the trailer, I mean, to say it looked awesome, is, you know, you know how, what I'm going to say. It looked amazing. This is such a good thing. I, I, I'm so flabbergasted that we're actually getting more DLC for this game. Now, some fun things I would like to see in this DLC is, of course, Super Saiyan Bardock. I hope he is in this, like, Super Saiyan 2 Trunks was spoilers, I am sorry, but... Super Saiyan 2 Trunks in the last DLC. Please give us Super Saiyan Bardock and give us, like, a new what-if scenario kind of character. That would be so cool. And he has, like, a cinematic, too. I can't wait to see his combos and... Oh, my gosh. We'll probably get new stages... Imagine the new enemies we're going to get. We'll probably get a freeze the first form enemy. Who, like, if you remember the androids in the original Kakarot, like Android 17 and 18, how shitty their animations were before DLC 3, then they got, like, the best animations in the game. That happened to Frieza, Dodoria, Zarbon, the Ginyu Force, Chilled. It could get all this shit to be, like, the best-looking attacks in the game, and it would be so cool to see them in battle. Oh, I cannot wait. And speaking of that new cinematic, so, like, Bardock getting, obviously he gets all his attacks, so we get a bunch of cinematics when the enemies are stunned. I can't wait to see Bardock's combos, to see the fancy camera angles, to see everything related to Bardock. I am, oh my gosh. And then don't get me started on the CGI. Oh, man. I mean, we already saw some of the cutscenes, but those weren't CGI cutscenes, I don't believe. Those were the in-game cutscenes. But, I mean, those CGI cutscenes, like... You know what they look like. The Namek Goku one, the Vegito one, all that shit looks amazing. And to see us get a new version of that will be crazy town, to say the least. And I love Kakarot. It's a fantastic game. And to see it get even more stuff is so cool. And I know, I'm pretty sure a ton of people are definitely excited for it. Hopefully Fighters gets more stuff too. But at the very least, Kakarot is. And obviously it came with the Breaker stuff. <coughs> Pardon me. The Breakers looks okay. I... Definitely am not, like, stoked for it, but I'm definitely excited. It's not a bad game by any means, but, yeah, you can farm with a shotgun. That's pretty cool. But, <coughs> pardon me again. But, uh, yeah, I'm just super excited for this. And maybe for some future DLC for this game. Because remember, we're getting two more packs along with this. We're not just getting the one pack. We're getting two more. <coughs> um, we're getting the Bardock. And I presume just, like, two more Dragon Ball Z movies. I would like to see, I would like to possibly see cooler, um, a DBZ Broly, like, in the season pass, that would be sick. Dragon Ball Super Broly would be nice. I know someone I know wants to see Future Trunks Saga, the blue-haired one, that would be cool. Terminator Power, Resurrection F, wait, no, we got Resurrection F. Um, just a ton of, there's so many options. Regardless of what they do, I have no doubt that they're going to make it awesome. They, they proved before they can do some really cool stuff with Kakarot. They turned something as pretty good as the Future Trunk Saga into something absolutely stunning. So I have no doubt that they're going to make this amazing as well. So 
Thanks again, guys, for watching. I know this is a random video, but I wanted to cover this because I was covering Xenoverse DLC the other day, so I decided to cover this one, too. So, thanks again, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.